In the 18th century, the first industrial revolution began with progress in power technology and macro inventions. In the 19th and 20th centuries, the technology revolution came to be known as the second industrial revolution. Today, some futurologists believe that a third revolution may be underway in industry through this. Hey everybody. Today, we're going to be looking at dinosaur relics, relics like this T-Rex. Today, I'm going to take you inside the heart of Iranian desert. Come on, man. No, I'm not. Actually, this is a 3D printed object. 3D printing or additive manufacturing has really taken off over the last few years in Iran. You see, 3D printing is the process of laying successive layers of an object on top of each other until the object is formed, like this T-Rex. Ow bit me. No, it didn't. I broke it. I killed it. Around 2013, 3D printing started off in Iran, and it has been growing steadfastly. Basically, all the printers in Iran are made by Iranians. On average, there are up to more than 100 copiers made monthly. 3D items can take anywhere from 5 minutes to 100 hours to make, depending on the shape, size, and form of the object that you want created. The final product. Now this is a 3D whistle. Now remember I was telling you it's made from layers. There were one-tenth of a millimeter each layer used to make this whistle. And this is the plastic they used. Now what's unusual about this plastic, or should I say unique, is... Yes, I can eat it. What am I talking about? The material used for this plastic is made from all natural derivatives. And I was told that this plastic is actually made from corn. It's pretty cool. ما حدود دو سال هستش که توی حوزه ساخت پرینت های سعودی وارد شدیم و فعالیت خودمون رو به صورت رسمی و تجاری آغاز کردیم. بحث پرینت های سعودی به خاطر اینکه چهار تا رشته مختلف درگیر میشن رشته های کامپیوتر، مکانیک، شیمی و الکترونیک درگیر این حوزه میشن. در نهایت نقطه اتصال اینها رسیدن به تکنولوژی های تک توی زمینه چاپ سعودی و پرینت های سعودی بشه. A 3D printer will basically give you what you give it. By that, I mean whatever desired object you want created, you enter the data into the printer and then it will create it for you. Some people have gone so far as to make 3D printed organs. The color, the size, the shape all depends on your specific data entered into the printer. Are you going to do anything? I'm having fun here with my 3D hand. You know, they always say two hands are better than one. Now, what am I talking about? Yes, this is a 3D made hand. But if you remember in the beginning of the show, I promised you guys a little something unique about a hand. So let's go see if the hand I told you guys about is unique. It is pretty cool. Thank you very much. Let's go. Now, I promised you guys to show you something interesting with a hand. Well, the hand, it all starts with a finger, of course. This finger leads us to what? It leads us to over there, which is the hand. Now, this is a prosthetic 3D printed hand, and I explained the 3D process to you. Now, I'm going to explain, or should I say show you, what this hand does. I'm going to show you a person who's going to give us some info about this hand and other 3D printed things in Iran. The hand. پرینتر سوادی در واقع بستگی به ذهن شما داره که دارید چه کار میکنید در اساس اون تقریبا چیزی نیست که نتونید بسید این ساختار پرینت برای دست سه ویژگی داره اول از همه قیمت تمام شده مسئله دوم 
قابلیت این که برای بچه هایی که دارن هی بزرگ میشن و سایزش باید عوض بشه به راحتی تغییر سایز پیدا میکنه و از همه مهمتر این که خیلی فلکسیبله یعنی بسته میشه روی دست و با حرکت مچ توانه این داره که پنجه رو ببنده و تا حد 100 صد و دهویس گرم بار رو جا به جا بکنه 3D printers are now being used more and more for the betterment of medical research, such as making prosthetics. The printers itself are modern technology at its finest. Who would have ever thought that you can create, find, or design a desired object, and then a printer will make the object for you in its true form? Well, it's happening all the time now with the evolution of 3D printing. You know, I believe in life you should always be a nice guy and never have a chip on your shoulder. Speaking about chips on your shoulder, this is not a chip. It's actually another product that was made by a 3D printer. It goes here on your shoulder, two poles go here, and you adjust and set your Durbin on this. For the one, the only Iran program, I am Reza Nayebi. Take care of yourselves. Thank God for another day. Khuda Hafiz. Come on, by the way, Durbin, Persian word for camera. See ya.